on today's video i just want to touch a topic that i've been seeing on youtube with jewelers and customers so let's get the video started Hey guys, welcome back. It's your boy HM. And if you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Today's video is going to be about jewelers and customers. There's some videos going around about this individual and Daniel's Jewelry Inc. Thank you, David. Big shout out to you. Uh, about a piece that he got about two years ago and and this is me telling the story how I see it and my experience with something like that and I think I did tell you guys but I want to bring this up because I feel that I need to as part of this community so what I for what I know is that a piece was purchased two years ago and now the individual doesn't doesn't think it was done to his expectations and that is fine but why will you wait two years if your piece wasn't to your expectations you should have sent it back right away you should have complained right away and i'm not seeing that in any of the videos i'm not seeing that in any of the comments so in my experience when you go to a jeweler, and when I say go, this means when you go on their website, when you send them a text message, however is it that you're communicating with these people and you want something custom, you better make sure that you know what you want, that you have your mindset, height, width, shape. If it's gonna have any stones, what type of stones, how many, and obviously, you got to be realistic with your budget. Because if my budget is $2,000, I can't ask for a 4-inch piece with VS diamonds on 14 karat that weighs 100 grams. That's just, just not possible. It is super impossible. But sometimes I think that people don't know and that is fine because I didn't know at some point, but as I go, I've been learning. So you need to have a budget and you gotta be realistic within that budget. And that's what I think that might have happened in that situation. There was a lot of confusion, uh, you know, not being sure and, you know, a lot of changes in my experience. When I got my Grimal chain, my first one, there was one little thing that I didn't like. It was, it used to kink a little bit. And I know that as you wear that chain, it's gonna start wearing, so eventually it's gonna be fine. But me being me, a peaky person, I called Grimal, Angel, Big shout out to Grimal Jewelry. I called and I said, hey, the chain is having some issues. I'm gonna send it back. And he said, of course, we'll remake it. Don't worry about it. Took him 10 days and I got my piece back. They remade it. There was no issues because I, I communicated with him right away. And he took care of me. I didn't have to do a video. I didn't have to go on, the, on social media and bash him because I know I trust him. He's my jeweler. So whenever I deal with Grimal, I know that if there's something wrong with my piece, I have that peace of mind that I can contact them and they're going to take care of me. And that's how it should be. When you have a relationship with a jeweler, a person that you're spending huge amounts of money, you should trust that person, obviously, because if you don't trust that person, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. I'm in the customer service industry as well. And I know that if you have a customer that doesn't trust you, 
it is really, really hard. So in my opinion, we need to stop bashing the jewelers. If we don't like something or if something is not what we asked for, then we should just contact that person and I'm pretty, pretty damn sure they're gonna make it right. If they don't make it right, of course, you have the right to upload a video and share your experience, but know that your experience is not my experience. Every experience is different. Sorry, I got a notification here. My apologies, but like I was saying, every experience is gonna be different not everybody is gonna feel the same way about a certain person so if you're in the industry of miami cuban links if you want to be your owner if you are already an owner if you want to start doing custom jewelry like pendants rings just make sure you know what you want and i'm pretty sure at that point you're not going to have any problems second be realistic with your budget if your budget is two grand and you know you really want diamonds you really then just save up and then you'll get there very very easy and this video i'm just making it because my person is grimal but my bracelet is made by daniel jewelry inc and my experience with them was awesome I know it takes a long time for them to make your piece. They're busy. I'm busy at my job. They're busy at their job. They're really good at what they do. Second of all, updates. It's really hard for them to send a, a, a weekly update to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of customers. They only have so many people working in that operation. So you guys have to understand, you're gonna get your piece, whether you get an update or not. If you got an update, hey, great. If you didn't get an update, you're still gonna get your piece. They're working for you guys. I just don't think that in this industry, updates are necessary because it's a piece of jewelry. You'll get it when you'll get it. If you don't want to wait for Daniel Jewelry Inc., if you don't want to wait for David and his team, there's other options that can make, they probably have them already pre-made. I know sometimes Las Villas has some pieces pre-made. Grimal, I know sometimes he has some pieces pre-made. But if you want to go with Daniel Jewelry Inc., that, that's the wait time. Another example of someone that takes a long time is uh, race, race gold in cash. He takes a long time, but he's a, it's a two, two person operation, Norma and Ray. I mean, when you're competing against other people that have a big operation, it is what it is. And you have other jewelers and I don't know their wait times. I'm just talking on my experience on Daniel Jewelry Inc. It was great. I did have some issues with the shipping. Again, it's not their fault, but everything was taken care of. I was taken care of. If you have an issue with your jeweler, communicate that with them right away. Do not wait two years to complain and try to make them look bad on social media because it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I am very happy with my piece from Daniel Jewelry Inc. I have no complaints. My next steps, I believe I might be upgrading this to 14 karat and uh, one more millimeter. So it'll probably be like a 14 millimeter, 14 karat. I will be probably doing a sleek lock on this. I have a lot of stuff coming guys. I'm just had a bit of a personal issue, but I'm back. I'm going to be doing videos for you guys. So stay tuned, Team HM Enterprise. It's your boy HM. This is the end of the video.
Peace.